In a recent inquiry, the Canadian Prime Minister, acknowledging the complexities of international relations, revealed the absence of concrete proof regarding the alleged involvement of Indian agents in the assassination of Hardeep Singh Nijar. This admission underscores a challenging narrative that could reshape diplomatic ties between Canada and India, as the Prime Minister shared intelligence but failed to present hard evidence to solidify claims. Hardeep Singh Nijar was a significant figure within the Sikh community in Canada, actively advocating for the establishment of Khalistan. His life was cut short in June 2023 when he was tragically shot in Surrey, British Columbia. Nijar's death sent shockwaves through the community and ignited a political firestorm, stirring sentiments of sovereignty and national integrity. Amid escalating tensions between the nations, Trudeau insisted on the existence of credible evidence pointing towards India's involvement, albeit without the fortified substantiation expected in such serious allegations. He drew attention to the delicate balancing act of maintaining national security while navigating the turbulent waters of international diplomacy. Within the Prime Minister's testimony, mention of gangster Lawrence Bishnoi highlights the intricate web of security concerns surrounding pro-Khalistani movements within Canada. These ongoing issues not only amplify the significance of Nijar's assassination, but also serve as a reminder of the latent tensions festering beneath the surface of Canadian-Indian relations. Trudeau's appeal for cooperation from India resonates with the sentiment of accountability, urging Indian authorities to engage substantively with the investigations underway in Canada. Conversely, India's staunch denial of the allegations emphasizes the complex dichotomy of perspectives, revealing a diplomatic divide that is hardening with each exchange. In light of these events, both nations have recalled diplomats, signaling a deepening diplomatic crisis. The absence of direct evidence coupled with geopolitical maneuverings reinforces the uncertainty, shaping the future of bilateral relations. As the inquiry progresses, the stakes become higher. Trudeau's claims and India's rebuttals set the stage for potential ramifications, defining not just the future of Canada-India relations, but also impacting broader international dynamics in an era where sovereignty, security, and human rights are in constant negotiation. In conclusion, the narrative surrounding Nijar's assassination weaves a tale of complexity in international politics, where transparency is sought but often hindered by national interests, a narrative that is likely to unfold tumultuously in the months to come.